<laughs> Let's do this. Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Help us rent this good. What? What's up, Steam Deck fans? You know, Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion. What's good? Steam Deck Mob. What's happening? And the Steam Deck Squad. <laughs> what's up, Tweak Town? Look, <clears throat> got, got this little article here. So, Steam Deck completing its first year. Well done, Valve. Well done. Now all you gotta do now is keep pushing. <laughs> anyway, says here, listen to this. Valve Steam Deck handheld PC celebrates its first birthday. <laughs> anyway, says here how Valve Steam Deck handheld PC celebrates its first birthday as the company looks forward to the future with new upgrades and hardware iterations. Says here, Valve, in, Valve Innovation Steam Deck handheld turns one year old today. How time flies. <laughs> really, really though, it do. But anyway, says here, one year ago, Valve changed the world of the gaming with an affordable PC that fits in your hands. The Steam Deck represents the first major union of PC power in a handheld form factor from a storefront operator like Valve. The result is, pro is a powerful machine that seamless, slim, seamlessly <laughs> plays a significant portion of the Steam Deck games wherever you are. Says here, uh, the Steam Deck also made one of the most important ad advancement that any gaming platform could have, let alone a handheld valve specifically designed a suspend and resume feature that's very similar to the quick resume function on the Xbox uh, Series X. This way, gamers can instantly jump right back into their game session without having to load a save file. This is something that modern PCs don't even have outside of an emulator. Then it says here, Steam Deck starts shipping exactly one year ago. Uh, has an article from Twitter, a little, uh, a little comment from Twitter. Says here, while the Steam Deck do have some issues, name, namely battery life, the device is an impressive first adopter machine that see, that's been described as capable, affordable, and surprisingly compatible with the ins and outs of PC gaming, including mod support. Says Valve isn't done yet. The company is planning new iterations of the Steam Deck, includes a successor that may feature extra power and other major enhancements and optimization. The current Steam Deck delivers limited performance due to a compar comparatively uh, lower lower end AMD SOC that was specifically designed for the platform. Reports indicate that the Steam Deck 2 could feature a Zen 4 <laughs> SOC with an, a with an a RDNA 3.0 GPU that's capable of more that's capable of more higher performance gaming while keep thermal and energy usage low as possible and that's that mm, Zen 4 huh? alright okay Valve sitting there showing off okay so the Steam Deck got through its first year released in the middle of a pandemic and uh, Valve put their foot on the gas and didn't look back well done. Mm. Uh, one year completion, and you still got some more to go. So uh, uh, um, keep pushing, keep updating, uh, keep adding more games to the library, keep sorting, and keep working on that Steam Deck 2. Zen 4, uh, Zen 4 with RDNA 3. Mm. Yeah, that's going to be an impressive machine when that thing comes to the market. But in the meantime, People that have their Steam Decks, enjoy. Don't think about Steam Deck 2 yet. <laughs> when it gets here, it gets here. But um, this this Steam Deck that's out now, man, it's doing damage. You know, it's, it's a powerful, nice, affordable gaming PC that you can um, uh, take on take that take on the go with you and um, play your games wherever you want. And um, your, the Steam Deck is running on full power. Of course, you got the official docking station. Then you got the J Sox uh, docking station with an external SSD uh, uh, support. And you know you got your um, you can 
put a you get the steam deck comes in three models uh, 64 256 512 and um, they're all using the same specs and there there are um, you can upgrade the storage to a two terabyte SSD so yeah and then there's the micron uh, the 1.5 terabyte SD card that's supposed to be coming coming so you Steam Deck fans are covered as far as games is concerned. Now, um, you know what? I'll do that in another video. But other than that, the Steam Deck is good. You know, for what it's do, for what it's um, for what for what it can do, for what it can um, for what it can handle, and you know how it's running the games. You know, and, um, pretty impressive. A lot, pretty impressive machine. They've been updated since that since the Steam Deck came to the market. You know. Valve, you know, make sure they communi open a line of communication with their users, and they uh, the users send the feedbacks, you know, to Valve, and they have been updating non-stop, you know, non-stop with the uh, Steam Deck. So yeah, pretty impressive machine for what it's doing right now. You know? And um, you know, still getting games. They just got Octopath Traveler to add to the list. Hm. Steam Deck verified <laughs> with Yakuza. So. Last of Us is coming next, and then um, uh, Jedi Survivor, Suicide Squad, Killer Justice League. <laughs> oh yeah, Street Fighter Six. Oh yeah, you Steam Deck fans are good, man. So yeah, um, but pretty impressive, man, for what this hand, this this handheld really, you know, changed the market. I mean, I mean, when Valve announced it and said we couldn't find a game, the Steam Deck couldn't run. <laughs> That's one. But then here comes, but then here comes Sony and X and uh, Microsoft, throwing their support behind it. And that was it. <laughs> Once you saw uh, Horizon Zero Dawn on the Steam Deck, it was just like lights out after that, man. So yeah. Of course, the com the competitors, you know, they came with their own different versions of handhelds, man. But that Steam Deck uh, came was making its presence felt. Not only does it support uh, Windows and Linux, but you can run emulations and all that on it. So yeah, got a whole bunch of games to play. You know, take your movies, music, <laughs> and games with you on the go. You know, and play. So yeah, and, and people and people are um, they're loving it. This what this little handheld can do. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, Valve is Valve is not looking back here. So and they're. They're staying consistent with it, you know. So, yeah. Um, I mean, of course, of course, the of course the Steam Deck fans want a Half Life Three, <laughs> and they want a new Portal with a new Left 4 Dead. But we'll see what Valve got in store when the Steam Deck Two uh, gets here. So, yeah. But right now they got Half Life uh, Alex, I think Portal Two, Left 4 Dead Two, and a whole a whole slew of games to play. So, yeah. You got, all, you got all your Dark Souls to play, your Skyrims, your Elden Rings, you know, connect the Steam Deck to a monitor, and you can start gaming, yeah. Get you some snacks, and have a blast, man, that, th yeah, <laughs> you know, and, um, uh, Valve, you know, they, you know, they, 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 um, the Asian market now, they got it, you know, so they, they got to go through, um, Komodo to get one. They got to order it from Komodo. But, uh, and, uh, Valve has been busy, man. But this Steam Deck is doing, it's doing, doing this. It's doing damage for a handheld right now. Damage. And, uh, people, a lot of people that are, that are using it, they're, they're impressed with. They're impressed with it. You know. And um, like one, like one user said, uh, what he said, uh, he wouldn't trade in this. He wouldn't. He wouldn't trade in this Steam Deck for a and Neo. <laughs> so yeah. That goes to show you how much fun they're having with the with the handheld, man. So yeah, um, you know, um, if you um, you can run um, the latest games on it, you know, from Crisis Core to Final Fantasy VII Remake to <laughs> Octopath Traveler to the, yeah, um, the Steam Deck is the is the is the is the real deal, you know, and um, you know Valve is taking all the Whatever, whatever shortcomings the Steam Deck is having, 
you know, Valve is going to take that and then fix that and apply it to the Steam Deck a revision or the Steam Deck 2 whenever that thing comes out. But right now, oh yeah, the Steam Deck is doing damage. And people are having fun with that thing. <laughs> so yeah, keep going, Valve, keep going. Anyway, latest video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, little Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Or Star Trek. Go. Peace.